all, Scott here, and welcome back to so Let's Play Clockwork Empire. So, with a recent update, so I thought I might as well give it a try just to give you guys an idea of the updated gameplay. Now, I actually did rather well last time, so I am going to start a new colony because, as far as I know, it doesn't save. So, without further ado, let's just jump straight in. Set course for adventure. Now, my camera is probably just frozen uh, while I press that, it does happen. Uh, as it loads for some reason it freezes everything uh, because the game isn't really that optimized yet It probably will be in the future and the camera just unfroze for me, so hopefully it will unf unfroze for you guys Now as I mentioned in uh, my previous video this game uh, seems to have the look of, of Age of Empires sort of game Especially Age of Empires 3 if you haven't seen my previous video you will see what I mean now so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a kitchen because the most important thing you're going to need for your settlers is food. So, without further ado, let's just make one. There we go, plonk that there. I'm going to make two stoves. So there's two steam stoves there. So that can go there. And then another one can go there. And then a workbench can go here. So hopefully. I will be able to do uh, more than one uh, video on this particular settlement so you guys will be able to see it develop, you guys will be able to see it build up. So that's the first building, as it were, done. I'm also going to forage these very forage these berry bushes once I can get my words out. This means I can have a short term su food supply until I get everything else up and running. I'm going to chop down these trees as well. Although I can't chop down that tree. Are you an astrologist or something? And you somehow angered the army, the only army in the area. Can I chop down? I can chop down that guy. Can I chop down you? No, I can't select you for some reason. Oh, okay, you decided to chop down now, fair enough. So, I made a mistake last time in my previous video. I didn't set up farms early enough. So, once I've selected a stockpile, which will be there, I'm going to go ahead and place some farms. So, put that there. And expand it a little bit. No, I can't even do that. Okay. So I've got a small TG farm there. I'm also going to put a farm here. Now I can specify what I put there. So a cabbage plant could go there. And because that's a very small one, I'll put some wheat there. Why not? That'll allow me to make bread uh, and some more things. I don't know the entire game yet, obviously. I have only played as much as I what you guys have seen. So, uh, okay, that's that finished. There is still some pathing issues, I think, because um, I think as the paths get worked out, they kind of keep stopping in ways. They kind of stop, have a think, and then move. So, chop down aspens, because why not? And this time, I actually turned the music down, so it's not deafening. Um, prior, um, when I think I recorded my last video, I forgot to turn the music down. So, I had to more or less shout over it. But this time, it's not too bad. It's at a manageable level. So, that's that done. Now, let's make a carpentry workshop. And then I'll look into making some buildings. In fact, I'll cancel that because that's a little bit close to the farm. Kind of annoying how there's like little sections there that I can't construct on that seem a little bit pointless uh, to not allow me to uh, place things there, but oh well. So I'll put that there, put that there. What are you? Oh, you are a power saw. There's enough room in here for you. And I'll put the loading bay. Where shall I put the loading bay? Can I put it there? Yes, I can. Okay, so that's that. I hit lag some more. Let's get rid of this coal. Don't need it here. Well, I do need it, but might as well get rid of it. So, mine surface node. Mine coal node. Oh, there's some bread there. So, we're not going to starve yet. That's a good thing. So, I, no one's claimed that. Oh, here we go. So, let's make some bread. All of them to make some bread. Once they decide to, if they'll even consider it. Unclaimed. Oh, it's unclaimed. That's why I can't do anything yet. 
Why can't I select you? Oh! Are you deciding to do it now? Are you deciding to actually do something? Oh, bollocks. Okay. I'll cancel that. It was showing up. It just wasn't kind of doing it correctly. As I did have mentioned before, this game is in early alpha, so it is full of bugs, as you'd expect. But it is quite impressive for an early alpha. It's got plenty of content, it's got plenty of promise. So I'll probably be playing quite a bit of this, even in my uh, free time. Oh god, are we under attack? Already? We are. And the military has not yet mobilised. Oh, there we go. The military has now mobilised and we'll begin to shoot that guy. Hopefully. There we go. Dead in the crops. He will now provide food for us. Why not? Okay, so... I can now think about making some paths towards each of the areas. What the hell are you doing? You doing a dance with that lady? The fuck? Okay, she's dancing. I feel like dancing, dancing. Why are you unhappy? Let's make an arsenal. That's where I will create weapons when I need to. As far as I know. Because that's what an arsenal usually is. Now, I don't want to uh, overdo it into the building, so the last building I'm going to build for a while is going to be a lower class house. Um, and for some reason the squares decided to, to disappear. So where should I put you? I'll put you here. The lower class bunkhouse. Now that could probably fit quite a few people in. So I'll put a cot here. And I'll put a cot here. Actually, it can fit four people, so I'm probably going to have to create several. Can okay, it make it big enough? So I'll put that there. And I also put a cheap cabinet, why not? Now, I'm not really decorating these, so I don't want to take up anything that's not needed. Uh, because that will put strain on the resources early in game. Which might screw me over later. So, are you actually making bread? What are you doing? Oh no, the wheat isn't done yet. I need to. I'm gonna make some more farms because realistically, uh, that's not gonna be a big enough farm. So, I'm gonna see if I can expand it like that. Even though it does look like a bit of a mess, and we are under fire. It appears. So I'll put that there. I'm not quite sure. Oh god, okay, it's all stacked on top of each other. <laughs> Alright then. That's going to be interesting to farm. We also have wheat and opium poppy. Why not? And oh god, they're kind of lagging around again. So, I'm 8 minutes in. I've got some kind of little settlement going. I've got 17 people in total. And no one's died yet. Yet. So let's go ahead and make a brewery, so everyone can die from alcohol, why not? I'll place you, are you big enough here? Yes you are, okay, place you there. I'm still mixing tank, and you can go there, and the loading thing can go there. Can I delete you? Because you are seriously going to be annoying. Can I just go delete? No. Yeah, I can't delete you because you because things and stuff and God damn it, permanent farms should not be a thing. So farm. Oh God, there's another guy coming in. Uh, the military needs to be alerted, but they can be alerted shortly. Err, making noises. Another cabbage plant. No. Don't destroy the crops, you bastard! You absolute asshole! Destroying my crops? You die for that, you insolent bugger. The British Empire will not stand for you! And your numptiness. Where's the rest of the military? He's just not even bothered. Oh, there we go, he's dead. God damn it. 
I lost some of my crops. I would now probably starve. Oh, it's my fault for putting the crops right on the edge of the goddamn settlement. That probably won't be a problem once I've expanded into the blackness. Oh god, hello. They're everywhere. They are absolutely bloody everywhere. So I'm actually not going to make anything for a while now. I'm just going to let it play out. Uh, because I don't want to overface them. Which I think I already have done. Because not many people are actually doing stuff. Apparently some people are hungry. Not my fault. So there's some angry people who want some food and stuff. But there's nothing I can actually do about it. Some immigrants have arrived. Apparently. So is she actually baking bread? No, she's not yet. Now hopefully the wheat will be ready soon. That will then allow me uh, to grow things. Not grow things, make things. Bread. Okay. So let's make another farm. I really need to get the business of farming up and running. So if I put another farm here, it may be on the edge of town, but it should be fine. Made that a cabbage plant. Yeah, I have cabbages coming out of his ears. There really is no food there. We've exhausted our food supply. That's why everyone's kind of hungry. God damn it. But hopefully it won't be a failure, this city. As they gradually till the land. Commodities. Yep, we have no food. Supplies may be requested from the colonial uh, mish ministry. Okay. Where the hell is the colonial ministry? I have no idea. It says that, but... <laughs> okay, we've got some stuff here. But nothing in terms of food. I don't know what the colonial ministry is. Or even where it is. So, I think we're buggered. Maybe. Because I'm, I'm... I'm stumped. I am stumped. Let's explore. Do some exploration. Like that. To over uncover some more areas. Hopefully to uncover some more food. That is Toggle's view. I can hear smacking. Why can I hear smacking? Well, there's an enemy there. At least I think there was. Someone died from a vicious pummeling. No! Who died? God damn it, don't you die on me. Oh god, okay, so the military has responded, and that guy is now dead. Okay, so we lost one guy. We should be able to get some more people in shortly. So we're not overly screwed, we only lost one. We've got 16 colonists remaining. But he died a terrible, terrible death. He died rather quickly as well. Forage that. So if they don't starve to death, they'll definitely die from the sodding... Uh, Fish people, of which there is one down there. I hear shooting again. God damn it, are we more or less just under constant siege now? Alright, oh, okay. There's one there. And I can forge that again. Okay. So they're slowly but surely finishing construction on that, hopefully. And we'll have wheat soon. Now, the fish people can actually be eaten. Uh, so, because they can be eaten, they can provide food. For a limited time, obviously. So, eat the fish people. I 
At least so shortly, hopefully. Ah, there we go. Can you see that? She's eating the fish person whole. She's that hungry. <laughs> so we've lost one person. And that was actually one of the starving people as well. Okay, so we're finally getting some berries in. That will help us for a short time. Why is that constantly selected? That's just like constantly a thing now. I think it's a bug. For no reason. I mean, unless you want to just select what's there. Can I make you go away? Nope! You are stuck there. Fine. Whatever you say. Are you angry? You angry? So ending day three, we're 15 minutes in. And we're cutting up our dead enemies to eat them. Once again. Om nom nom nom. I've no idea how long those explore things last for that I've placed. Uh, there's kind of an enemy over there, two of them. I'm guessing they just come out at night, much like zombies. And they'll attack gradually when they get aggroed. Because we are invading their land after all. They were probably natives to this land. We've come along with the British Empire to try to kill them all. With their fishy goodness. I will have you with chips. Because why not? Fish and chips, best things in the world. We don't even care. There is dead. The fish people are like, don't shoot us, we just want to casually go for a stroll. And you're dead. Boop. Poor bugger. Tried to think of a fish pun there, didn't work. But oh. <laughs> terrible, terrible fish puns. Okay, so I've now got some immigrants apparently, but no one's appeared. I've still got 16 people. No unassigned workers. Cornists. Show all cornists. Right, okay. So there's no unassigned people, as it were. So work parties. There we go. So, it says that I got immigrants, but no immigrants actually arrived. Okay, that must not be in yet. Oh well. Okay, so, we're reaching 18 minutes. We've got two half unconstructed buildings, but our food supply is now up. We are now getting food in because we've got wheat, which we are now harvesting. So we're not in danger of uh, starvation anymore. Although you are now sleeping on the floor because no bugger has bothered to make that yet. So I tell them to chop this down. They should chop it down and then they should hopefully have enough wood to begin construction. I think there's more than enough wood. I think they're just having trouble because they, there's no stone around. I might have screwed up in terms of that. I turn the thing into bricks and stuff. If only everything was made out of wood. God damn it. These guys, these buffalo or whatever the hell they are, just don't give a crap. They're just kind of walking, just casually deciding. Just, they just don't care. And apparently, kitchen assignment is complete. Oh, that was a construction assignment. And the dodos are still alive somehow. I wish the dodos would be eaten. Okay, so the brewery has been finished. Um, now we just need to have the stuff put inside the brewery. Which will be all good because then they don't have to sleep on the floor. So it's looking up. It's looking good for this settlement so far. At least. Although they are sleeping in the kitchen. They will hopefully have beds here soon. So let's make a refinery. I will need a um, better building soon. 
And because those buildings are almost complete, I can think about expanding. So I put that there. And then it is a smelting crucible, which can go there. And then an industrial kiln, which can go there. Put that there. There. And there, which is all good. So there we go. Okay, so that will be constructed shortly. They decide what they're going to do. It seems that they lose all train of thought when I go to create a building. So that will be created shortly. You can st see what is remaining. So we've got plenty of coal, but we've got basically bugger all else. So a ceramics factory. As far as I know, I think a ceramics factory will allow me to make bricks. Now that may, may sound weird, but I think it's kind of masonry? I'm not sure. I might be completely wrong there, so I apologise if I am stupid. Which I probably am. I'll probably, I'll probably be very stupid. But there we go. Loading bay door, and go there. So they'll be begin construction shortly. And they're hungry, even though there is actually food around. Stop crying, there's food, plenty of food. And soon we will have more cabbages. Good old cabbages. Tilled floor has claimed a workshop. Or tilled flood, rather. Fine. Although, we're not actually getting any more colonists in even though it said we were so that might be a bug that we don't actually get any colonists yet sadly but they are tilling the land we are we I can officially say we now have a working colony we've got food uh, well, sort of and we've got some buildings that are at least half finished in a way but I think I screwed up in terms of I built too much too soon, uh, just for the sake of speed. Whereas if I was probably playing on my own, uh, because time wouldn't be of the essence, I would probably create things much slower, wait until I've got enough, enough resources, and then do what I need to do. What are you doing? What are you doing? <sighs> Overseeing surface mining. You lazy bugger, get your hands dirty. Oh god, no! She's under attack. And she's dead. We lost another one because the military did not react. Because they are numpties. Military, we need you. There we go, he's dead. Okay, we're down to 15 colonists. God damn it. Okay, on that note, I'm actually going to end the video here. Uh, I might continue playing um, if I can somehow uh, save it. I'm not entirely sure if saves are working at the moment. And hopefully I'll be able to come back from this, even though I'm not getting any colonists in. I'm losing colonists, so <laughs> I might have to wait until that's either fixed or I'll work out why the hell I'm not getting anyone in. But that's all for me. See you for now.